good morning. So the other day I was chatting to one of my long distance learning students and she was asking, we were talking about how to engage and energize the hindquarters of the horse. And she was asking how can she do that without her horse speeding up? And I said, well, that's actually a very interesting question and a good subject. We'll do a little video on that. And of course, the more I thought about it, the more I thought, well, actually, that's not a little video. There's so much in that. So thank you, Julie, for asking that question and giving me so much to uh, think about. So this is kind of part one of that in a way. And I think um, there's so, like I said, there's so much in that. But one very important part of that is the idea of the energy going in a circle. And I think this picture um, illustrates that perfectly. It's from a, one of Sylvia Loch's fantastic books. It's a sculpture called The Circle of Life, The Quest. And she's put underneath, the sculpture echoes the idea of the centaur. The rider appears to be joined to the horse, spiritually and physically, and the hands are outstretched to receive the horse's energy almost as a gift. I'm not quite sure why the word almost is in there. I think it is a gift. We don't need it. So um, one of the main phrases I learnt uh, from Miguel in classical equitation is push, take, give. So that's the idea of energizing the horse and then you receive that energy in your hands and then you release it so the energy goes in a circle and you can have the energy more going up rather than advancing forward into speed. Um, thinking about that, as soon as I thought of it, actually push, take, give doesn't sound so, um, I don't know, it's so much in my integrity anymore. <laughs> So I think it's much nicer to say, ask, receive, and release. Um, you know, I learned the push, take, give, seeing that in action by someone who, uh, by Miguel, who was trained by Nuno, and all these um, people who focused 100% on the lightness. So I never had any idea that there was anything harsh in that. But the words could be understood as being quite harsh push and take so um, I think ask receive release gives a much nicer idea of that so it's something to always keep in mind and the whole um, feel of this picture you know it's the idea of the horse being engaged being up under the rider and uh, you know to have that image in your head is very important so we're going to do some um, work in hand which is maybe the next part of learning to engage your horse. So that will go out tomorrow as a horsemanship hint. And then we will do another video, um, again, more specifically on engaging and energizing the hindquarters. So that's quite enough for today. Thank you for being with us. Mm -hmm.